are the better investors, men or women? Research shows it's the women, because men tend to be overconfident. But how about health management? To answer that question, I teamed up with the Amsterdam UMC to investigate how men and women handle type 1 diabetes. Let's meet Coco, a doctor and co-author of the study. Hi Paul. Hi Coco. Hello. Nice to see you. Yeah, likewise. Um, we have a patient here. His uh, name is Bas and he's a participant of the study. So, Bas, as a man, what do you expect about your glucose control? I expect to be quite well regulated in terms of my glucose. I think we should uh, see what the data says. You have here the, the constant glucose monitoring, the CGM device we, we use in the research. Normally, patients with type 1 diabetes have their own uh, CGM device. It measures your blood glucose for about two weeks. Um, and in those two weeks, uh, it puts a little catheter underneath the skin. I apply it with a little needle and you can tap it with your phone so you can see what your uh, glucose is in real time. The results for Bas, how does it look like, Coco? It looks like the glucose is a little bit lower than Bas was expecting. Oi. It's underneath the normal range. I was a little bit overconfident. So we just saw that Bas was uh, a little bit overconfident. So how does that strike with our larger research in which we looked at 180 men and 316 women? And that actually perfectly aligns with our study. Uh, we found that women are about 3% uh, underconfident when they compare how well they did with our CGM results and uh, men uh, overestimate themselves for about 31%. Oh, so a man who objectively is in the worst 20% thinks subjectively I'm about average. And why do you think it's the case that men overestimate themselves? I think there could be a multitude of reasons. To answer that question, we should do a follow-up. Is it ultimately bad for the man? It could be that you have more hypos or that you spend less time in range. We did look at complications, but the sample size was too low to draw definite conclusions for them. But we did see that people who are more overconfident confident have more hypoglycemic events. So it could potentially be dangerous. But you also have to live and uh, you don't want to think about your diabetes every second of every day. So I think your doctor could play a role in that. And, and for the men who are watching, what would you recommend them? Look at your data before you draw the conclusion. Yes. So, and the same, I would give the same advice to doctors. Look at the CGM results. Check also the, the yeah. objective data. Trust but verify. So there you have it. Just like in investing, men's overconfidence shows up in their diabetes management. The good news. Ever more research is uncovering sex differences in health. This is helping us to develop better, more cost-effective and efficient treatments. Thanks for watching, stay healthy and subscribe. See you next time.